Howdy, Re Desert Boy here. I'm here today because I wanted to talk about holsters mainly. And uh, remember, this is what works for me. These are my opinions and my thoughts. You know, you need to go out and do your own research and everything. But uh, what I have here is I have two firearms here. One is the Smith & Wesson FNMP Shield Plus. There's no magazine in here. As you can see, the gun is empty. And I have the Sig Sauer P938 Legion. There's no magazine in it. And it also is empty. Okay, so both firearms are safe. No magazines are present. What I want to talk about with holsters is holsters is really a, a very personal thing. Different things work for different people. I uh, generally, and you always want to follow all your local, state, and federal firearms rules, permits, CCWs, and everything if you're going to carry, uh, whether it's concealed or whether it's uh, open or anything, you want to make sure you're following all those rules. Uh, for wherever you're at and uh, make sure you're in compliance but these two guns I like to carry for me I carry these as uh, my EDCs I did a video on talking about revisiting the P938 for EDC I like to carry it in this crossbreed um, mini tuck holster and it works very well for that for me and uh, We'll slide that in there you can kind of see how that sits in there uh, the magazine sticks down a little bit but not too much and it fits with the double belt loops and this gun here you know it, it weighs you know about 17 ounces and so but it's alloy and steel so it's you know it's for its size it's kind of heavy and then this one here what I did was I went out and bought another mini tuck from crossbreed um, and these, I don't remember the exact price. It depends because sometimes I get them on sale. I think sometimes when they're on sale, it could be as low as in maybe in the $40 or $50 range. And it could be as high as in the $60 or $70 range. Hard to say what the price is right now. But with this one here, this is a 17.9 ounce gun. And then uh, it fits in here, of course, pretty much in kind of a similar fashion, as you can see. But if you look at these, you'll see that their profiles are a little different, you know. This one is still a little slimmer. They both are 1.1 inches wide, but oddly enough, this one feels less wide when you have it on. And this one's just a little wider. You know, it's a little, it's, uh, you know, 4 point, I think it's uh, something like 4.6 inches in height. And this one's 4.3. And you got the mags in it, so it's a little shorter. This one's got a 3 inch barrel, it's got a 3.1 inch barrel, this is about 5.9 inches, excuse me, on this one, about 6.1 on this one overall. This one, um, of course, has 7 rounds, there's 3 7 round magazines that come with it, and it's a single action only with a manual uh, ambidextrous safety. This one here is a striker fired weapon, and it has a 10 and a 13 round magazine, both are 9 millimeter. So, um, and you'd say, well, why would you need two guns that are about the same size? Well, everybody has to answer that question for themselves. For me, I like this one because it was the micro compact of its time. This is one of the newer ones. And of course, the P365 is a very popular one in the place of this one, along with now the new Ruger uh, Max 9 and other ones like that. Um, what makes it different? For some reason, this one seems to be, for me, it just seems to be more comfortable in concealment in this particular holster. Oddly, this holster was not as comfortable for me in about the same position. I usually carry, you know, somewhere in the, probably the 3.30, 4 o'clock to, you know, 4.30, 4 o'clock position in there. And um, so, that's why I said I revisited the P938 for carry, even though I had purchased this one. Now, this is where holsters become really important, right? Is it? And of course, the purpose of these is a little different. This one doesn't yet have night sights on it, though I want to put it on there. This one does have night sights, so that that's that's an advantage that this one has. This one, of course, has capacity 
and it is a striker fired gun versus being the single action only with a manual safety depending on what your preferences might be um, so anyway I was like so I went back carrying this one well for the last I don't know, I think probably about a month or so I've been carrying this one I'm back to carrying this one and what was the difference well I went out and I you know looked for a holster that was I thought would maybe be more comfortable now I like leather not everybody likes leather some people like leather uh, kydex combinations and so forth and so I went out and I saw this DeSantis holster I was in uh, it's always in like Bass Pro Shops I think and this was not a cheap holster usually you buy leather holsters if they're well made they're not going to be inexpensive uh, I have another DeSantis that I use with a thumb brake on it for my Colt Detective Special. It's outside the waistband. It works very, very well. I like it very much. Um, and so I went ahead and I bought, this one was about, I think the price was something like 79 bucks or something like that. I don't remember exactly. But this is the holster that I ended up with. Now this is called the Cozy Partner. It fits inside. Your belt goes across here and it snaps up. And of course, it does make it easier for you versus one of these if you need to take it off, you know. And when you put it back on, you can put it back on and it's a relatively easy on and off kind of thing. It also has this guard here. And so let's see what the M&P looks like in here. Now, certainly I would have preferred it be black, but I wasn't being too picky at the time. So I kind of wanted to be able to carry this gun more comfortably. And you can see it's in here. Now this is not a, it's it's a tight fit, but it's not a super tight fit, okay? But there is retention screw adjustments here, so you can adjust the retention. And I find this very comfortable to wear. And since I got this, it was, it's surprising how much just changing a holster can change your, um, maybe your preference for an EDC or to give you more options for an EDC. And that's exactly where I ended up with this. So I just wanted to share that with you today. Um, not really necessarily to meant this as a comparison of these two guns because they kind of fulfill different roles. This one gives me more capacity and so forth. But this one here gives me more, a little more concealability from my perspective. So I wanted to share that with you. I hope you find that helpful. Um, and, uh, you know, in the future, I actually wanted to get another one of these holsters from my Springfield XDE. But as most of you know, the Springfield XDE, just like um, like uh, several gun manufacturers uh, are discontinuing their kind of their single stack uh, compact lines. And so this holster happened to be discontinued. If I find one like it for it, I will buy one for it. But I could not find one because they discontinued the holster from this manufacturer, at least uh, for the time being. So I um, wanted to share that with you today. Once again, uh, Reed Desert Boy here. And like I always say, be safe out there, whatever you're doing. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.